the Norman Smith Service Center, City and County of Broomfield, and today is our Household Hazardous Waste event for spring. And what we're doing is we're receiving household hazardous waste chemicals from Broomfield residents along with electronic waste. It's really important because we're trying to keep all these chemicals out of the landfill and uh, being illegally dumped or flushed down the toilets. And basically what's happening is a lot of this stuff either could be recycled like our light bulbs and fluorescent light bulbs and batteries or else chemicals are solidified before they actually go to a proper hazardous waste landfill. So little cans we can take and then we'll put them on a cart and then what's in a cart we'll, we'll take them over there. Oh, that's real cool. If it's keeping it out of the landfill, then it's all good. The weather's good. It's a great time. We're having a lot of fun. This is a really great resource for Broomfield residents. As a matter of fact, we're one of the few that really has one that's very well organized. I receive calls from all over the state on how we do our event because we take appointments and we always have several volunteers that are really excited about volunteering for the event. Yeah, you have to make sure you're identifying things and sometimes it gets a little bit busy and you can't forget to see what's there. You have to ask questions. These people are sometimes cleaning out basements and garages of places that they just bought and so they don't really know what all this stuff is, so you have to ask questions. Yeah, we have to communicate with the people bringing them in and make sure that they know what's in them. Sometimes they don't even know what's in them, so those are the big question marks for us is, you know, for safety concerns. Uh, to make sure we're not getting anything that's corroded or old or crystallized, uh, stuff that could explode potentially or be flammable or spill on us, cause harm. So it's uh, really important to not be too fast, you know, don't rush. This year is our largest event ever. We had just under 600 people that actually called in to get to receive an appointment. And basically we just have an environmentally minded community. They want to do the right thing when they're dealing with their waste. And what we're also trying to do is educate people so that they're not over buying material and that they use it up instead of just throwing it down the drain or having us pay for disposal. It's a lot of teamwork, a lot of coordination between people uh, sending the citizens in, uh, sorters, uh, unloaders, a lot of work, but it's uh, pretty successful, I think. One thing about the staff for uh, City and County of Broomfield, not only is Public Works here, we have volunteers from all over uh, different departments. We have parks, we have stormwater, even the fire department has stepped up. They help us for every event. We have a resident that's volunteered for 10 years in a row for all our events and it's just partnership that we have, and it's also fun. I think it's great, and I, the community too, uh, you know, the bigger the turnout, the better. So, you know, it's team effort on both sides. It seems like every year we get more and more people coming out. That's what I would say, spread the word around. We gotta quit throwing the stuff in the landfill, so, um, you know, it's good that we can dispose of it the way it's, it's supposed to be done. I've been with the city for 13 years now and we actually started taking appointments and doing it for a little over 13 years and we added electronic waste since 2007 and that's been really an asset as far as this because people can not only drop off their chemicals but they can drop off their electronics at the same time. This is a lot of fun. This is I believe my sixth year here in Broomfield doing this event. It's a very well organized event. How big TVs used to be? Well, uh, take a look right here. We still see about 50% of our volume by weight being big DLP projection and CRT televisions. This month at ERI, Electronic Recyclers, we're gonna recycle a million pounds in one month for our first time ever. It's great. <laughs> you know, it's a good Saturday. Work, make money, and have fun. Meet people, you know, and just enjoy. What's really exciting about the chemicals that we take, it's not just your normal household chemicals like your bleach or your ammonias or stuff like that. We take a lot of pesticides, herbicides, stuff that are no longer even being manufactured because of their hazard to the environment. And we prefer that we take it and dispose of it properly rather than for just keeping it in their house, such as things like ether that are highly reactive. We're really excited because we're actually working with a company that's called Green Sheen and instead of solidifying all our paint and disposing of it, they're actually taking our good latex paint, they're actually blending it with other used paint and they're selling it through Habitat. So we have all this waste, instead of going to the landfill, it's gonna be reused. The team speaks for itself. If you just look around and look at our organization, 
I get calls from all over the state continually asking me how we operate our organization, asking for our procedures that are in place. It's a good way to keep a lot of this stuff out of landfills. Its flammables are taken care of the way they should be, um, not thrown down sewers, not thrown in the trash, so it's a good way to protect the citizens' environment as well. When it's in the environment, it's somehow it's going to find its way back into you know, the water supply or the landfill, and just, just by doing this, it just keeps you know, the environment cleaner and, and uh, makes our job easier, I'm not having to deal with as many chemicals in the environment. The City and County of Broomfield has very important to have sustainability as part of its culture. They backed all the programs programs that we have. They support us in everything that we do and their preference always is to have a sustainable community and it also helps beautify the community. Instead of having stuff illegally dumped, we have an opportunity to take it from them. It also dovetails with our large item spring cleanup. This event is very important to me. As a matter of fact, this is my favorite event out of the year. I love doing this because it's not only providing a service for the community, it's something that's dear to my heart. That's what my background is in waste. And it's just a way to educate people on what they should do with their waste and waste minimization and it gives us an opportunity to meet the residents.